Let's go back in time and solve the advent of code 2015 day seven puzzle using Rob Pike's editor, Sam, and go. This puzzle asks us to read a description of a 16-bit binary circuit and compute the final output. In the sample, the X wire carries the value one, two, three, Y carries four, five, six, D carries X and Y, and so on. In the actual input, the wires are in no particular order. Here, the DR wire is not DQ, but we haven't seen DQ yet. So to solve this, we need to parse the input and then do some kind of topological sort to traverse the list of computations in dependency order so that we compute the result on any particular wire only after we have computed its inputs. That's kind of a fun program to write, but I already wrote this code many years ago as part of the Go compiler, so I'm going to reuse that code. So to start, um, let's give each file a proper Go program prologue. Okay, you can see the X command means to apply the following command to all the open files, and the 0A means to add after line 0, which is to say at the start of the file. So we've added this header to both of the files, the sample and the input. Now let's close the var blocks at the end of the files. And now we need to turn all the arrows into assignments. Oops to say comma to apply it to the entire file. In that substitution, backslash two and backslash one are submatch references, and the G means to apply it globally to do as many substitutions as possible. So now we have something that's starting to look like variable inputs. Uh, we need to replace AND and OR with their actual binary operators. And then NOT is a 16-bit inversion. And then left shift needs to mask off the bits too. Shift. Work out okay. Yes, that's good. And then we need to do right shift. And now we can go from the code. Ooh unhappy in the input because there are wires named go and if. Let's fix that. Now let's go from them. All right, so at least we have a valid Go program, or a syntactically valid Go program. Let's write it to a file called temp.go and then run it. Uh-oh, undefined A. All right, well, in the real input, we're supposed to print the value of A. For the sample, let's just print all the wires they showed us. Oops. Do that. What just happened? Oh. I copied the wrong lines. There we go. I want to do right and an execute. 72507492, that looks right. All right, let's do the same thing over here. It says 3176 is the value of A. There we go. On to part two. Part two says to override B to the old value of A. Let's find B. There it is. And we want to override it with the old value is 3176. And then we'll run it again. 14710. And we got our stars. Have a nice day.